All right, mate, sorry for the slow response. I, uh, I made you a video on court with the volleys. Uh, I'll upload that now. Um, forehand's looking great. Oh, congrats on the on the win. You're looking so much better. It's it's really a, it's really great. And, and start to move a little better now as well, and just get your body a bit more involved. Sort of more body, less arm. Um, you know, there's definitely things going on here that I could point to. There's some really good shots. Um, and as I've said before, you know, learning from the good stuff is is probably more, I was going to say, just as important, but probably more important than learning from the the bad stuff, you know, you just, when you get when you get it right, that's the blueprint, and you just try and like get a few more of those. So obviously trying to limit the amount of unnecessary risk, but you want it you want it to happen a little bit. You want to make sure the racket doesn't open too much. I think you've sort of got the idea of, of what the swing should be like and the, and the swing shape and you know how much risk to use or not use. Again, you just got to watch for this racket opening up slightly. I think that's a couple of degrees open. But uh, it's probably not open to the angle of the swing, so it's okay. Um, just, just, just kind of watch out for that. You can just try and keep the racket closed as you as you lag. Um, but I think it's all right. It's pretty consistent with what you're doing there. I might have this a similar thing to be honest. Um, really like this move. Getting you can't do this every time because it depends where the ball is. But loading on the right foot. I've done videos on this because it's kind of my favorite move. Load on the right foot. Get the weight onto the left foot before contact, and now you can rotate through it. That's that's my favorite movement and, and one that not only do I feel like I do well but it's just like a very full body coordinated movement that feels good whereas when you run into the side you're playing off your right leg yeah there's there's movements you can do that that are right and feel good but that one just I feel like once people get that they understand the coordination chain a little bit better so that that one was really nice I do feel like you kind of held on to the shot a little bit, and it's maybe just a little bit tight with the hand, but like same with that one there. Like you're not really rotating the wrist and the forearm, but that also might just be because you hit the ball on the top of the, the frame, so that changes the swing path whether you have to hold on to the shot or it just actually stops the racket from uh, rotating over so that's probably just more of a off center hit issue than the the technique itself that's central then you can rotate the arm but anyway what i would what i would say is to just really focus your attention on brushing the ball these are all really nice that's a really good shot. And uh, that that one you pushed a little bit there. Again, might just because you're off center. There's enough nice hits here that I'm not gonna get too caught up in like what the racket does when you probably rescuing the shot at that stage. But yeah, let me give you some advice. So what I would say is, I mean, continue to do this. Con continue to find that that's swing is smooth and the, the, the legs happening just naturally because especially if you do the move where you go from that right foot to the left foot, your body's rotating a lot and the racket can just come. Like you don't have to physically lag with your wrist because the racket's just trailing the body. 
And as long as you're relatively loose, not too loose, but like just allowing things to work, the, the wrist will lay back. And then I um, can't quite get to this final bit of advice, but my real advice is to manipulate the ball and just to feel how it's coming off the racket, to really just feel like as, as you're striking that ball, there's, 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 a, a, there's a control, there's a understanding of how to really create that the top spin that you want. Not necessarily loads of it, it's not really that more is better than less, just the right amount is obviously best. And sometimes you want a lot of top spin. Sometimes you want to flatten it out. But just to really, because obviously I can't see where these balls are going and um, I don't necessarily need to, but I just want you to feel the ball coming off the racket, almost like really get a, 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 an understanding of, of the, the RPM, you know, how much, how much the ball is is rotating. That one's a little, uh, little pushed. That's pretty good. And you start to loosen up that wrist a little bit to like create some topspin. So instead of thinking about the technique to achieve the topspin, like if, I, if I'm if i in your position, I try and roll this ball. My favorite shot is an out wide, an angle cross court from here. If I start to really manipulate the ball, my, my forearm and my wrist starts to move to create that shot. As opposed to the other way around where I say, okay, I need this technique to do that. It's it's my desire to like get up and around the ball that will make my forearm and my wrist kind of move a little bit to, to create these the angles and to work around the ball. So play around with those ideas and you can either create different angles with it, make different shapes with the ball. Uh, try and add more topspin to some, or you can just try and be consistent and feel like, like I'm sure some of these balls were hit too flat and flew out flew out the back, or the uh, trajectory, I hate saying that word, uh, is uh, you know not, not exactly how you plan. So, so focus more on what the, what you want the ball to do and see if you can get your body to respond to allow you to achieve that connection. Now there you go, you did one on that one. I'd only watched the uh, first half of this video when I hit record. But I don't mind that other shot that you did there where you whipping it up, whipping around it. But yeah, mate, really good stuff. Uh, I think there's more technical stuff on the volleys uh, and hopefully you get something out of that too. All right, let me know if you've got any questions. Talk to you soon.